a transgender murderer who killed both of her babies and stuffed one of the bodies into a Tupperware food container is to receive taxpayer-funded breast implants. Okay, so I'm going to give you a bit of an overview. I'm going to give you a bit of a commentary. Perhaps I'll go into some of the details within the article. If I do that, it's going to get gruesome. So I'll start with an overview. A scumbag called Jason Michael Hand was sentenced to death in 2014 for murdering his 10-week-old daughter, whose name was Montana. He also murdered his two-month-old son, Jason. These murders occurred in 2001 and 1999. At the point of the trial, this scumbag, Jason Michael Han, identified as a male. He was born a male. Once he'd received the death penalty, all of a sudden, for whatever reason, he decided that he was going to start to identify as a woman, at which point he changed his name to Jessica Marie Han. And Jessica Marie Han was very, very fortunate that she was based in California because Governor Gavin Newsom ordered a halt to the death penalty. So he had been sentenced to death. He then became a she and she luckily avoided the death penalty because of good old Gavin Newsom and she just transferred I believe to like a life sentence I believe. That part isn't entirely clear to myself. So she stuck in one jail or another, one prison or another in California. She, that's right, she now identifies as a woman and the good old state of California deems it to be appropriate to utilize taxpayer money in order to subsidize this double child murderer's breast augmentation. Naturally she's transitioned so she now wants boobs. So the California system is like okay you're a transgender person you happen to be a double child murderer you stuffed the body of your 10 week old daughter Montana into a Tupperware container but that's okay you want breasts you deserve breasts. Oh you're not in a position to pay for that seeing as you're incarcerated for the rest of your life that's no problem we'll get the taxpayers to pay for it good old citizens of california those that do pay tax here's a good cause for you don't worry about the homeless people tens of thousands perhaps hundreds of thousands of them don't worry about that for now don't worry about your veterans that are crippled by physical ailments mental ailments don't worry about those guys we've got a transgender double child murderer over here who would like a pair of boobs let's spend your money assisting that double child murderer that's what the situation is currently so what should we think about that situation what should we think about that situation well i guess there are a couple of ways we could think about it we could think oh that's good isn't it oh yes oh that's wonderful this double child murderer has suddenly late in life discovered that they're not a biological male after all that they're actually a woman or they identify as a woman whatever that means don't know what it means really identify as a woman have you not looked at your genitals because why are you identifying yourself as a woman if you don't have female genitalia hmm i don't know but anyway regardless of that we could view it as a situation that we could look favorably upon this oh thank you state of california that's a really good way to spend money to appease a double child murderer there they are they've avoided the death penalty they've got to spend the life in prison but they want some boobs oh really I'm, that's really nice of you california well done you've got such a great heart to look out for the double child murderers what high values what excellent values you have as a state protecting the rights of double child murderers to the extent that you utilize taxpayers money to pay for their boob jobs well done state of california that's one way we can look at this situation another way potentially is to think to ourselves well you know what maybe this is a shocking indictment of the state of california and elsewhere across the world namely other states in america whereby they are wasting taxpayers money to appease somebody that ought to have no rights she was literally he was literally given the death penalty he was sentenced to death there's a couple of reasons why he's not dead one is because i believe i'm right in saying in america certainly many states even those that have the death penalty they are able to appeal there are lengthy delays and all of this kind of thing so it can take literally decades for somebody to be on death row before they're finally taken to the gas chamber or the injection room that's one reason another reason is because as i say california governor gavin newsom ordered a halt to the death penalty in california aren't you wonderful gavin implementing new laws to protect the rights of double child murderers aren't you a great guy well done i think i've gone on a bit of a ramble lost my train of thought i'm erring on the side of this isn't the best course of action to take i'm erring on the side that 
perhaps the taxpayer's money ought not be spent on frivolous surgeries to appease double child murderers. That's the side that I'm erring on. I like to keep an open mind, but you know, that's perhaps where I'm edging towards. This is disrespectful to so many people. It's perhaps mostly disrespectful to the memory of the two victims. Montana, 10 weeks old. Jason, two months old. This scumbag, Jason Michael Han, or now Jessica Marie Han, killed both of his her children they don't deserve any rights they don't deserve any appeasement so that's my thoughts if your thoughts differ please drop a note in the comments as i say there is quite a bit of detail within the article and i'm going to choose not to read through it all in essence the deaths happened in 1999 and 2001 jason and michael han's partner her name chrissy Wurntz, was also involved in the death of at least montana she was sentenced to 15 years in in jail not enough the bodies were discovered when the pair of them left the two decomposing bodies in a storage unit they lost control of that storage unit they weren't paying the bills so someone basically you know paid to have access to the abandoned storage facility they searched through the new possessions that they just bought and um, they saw a, a hand of a child and a head covered in duct tape and that was the body of Montana an autopsy of Montana again 10 weeks of age at the point of her death an autopsy showed that she had suffered fractures to her skull which had been caused by severe blunt force in addition her left tibia had been fractured with the arkansas medical examiner saying that it was that the fracture was caused by bending or twisting the leg as if you wanted to break a pencil so this scumbag who i'll remind you was sentenced to death beat his 10 week old baby girl to death try to snap her legs in half beat her to the point that she had fractures to her skull we're told that at the point that Han and his partner weren't were found by police they were in a hotel they also had a one-month-old child named Michael who thankfully was rescued apparently he was unhealthy at the time he was taken to hospital and it was found that he had 13 rib fractures as well as fractures in his legs both knees and one of his ankles so this scumbag killed two of his children and it seems like it seems well it is that he was also torturing and beating his third child a one month old thankfully that one month old was rescued and let's hope that they've made a full recovery i'm going to wrap things up at this point it's a very very dark subject it's a controversial subject hopefully i've covered it well if i have please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit again please feel free to make your comments in the uh, comment section i just want to be clear i'm not a bigot i'm not a transphobe i think the transgender issue is an issue that ought to be discussed openly i don't think anyone really understands what the heck is going on in regards to transgenderism certainly not most of us i think dictating what we should all think and what we should adhere to is foolish and despotic and i hope that i don't get into trouble with youtube for this video so again please do give me a little bit of support i'll wrap things up take care